Hi there, I'm Ben Mankiewicz. Welcome back to TCM and more of our 24-hour marathon of movies with Stella Stevens, our featured actor since early this morning on Summer Under the Stars. Up next, one of her biggest hits made at the peak of her career from Columbia Pictures in 1966, The Silencers. Released at the height of James Bond fever, The Silencers is an adaptation of a 1962 novel by Donald Hamilton, who created his own super spy character, a U.S. government counterintelligence agent named Matt Helm. Between 1966 and 69, Columbia produced four Matt Helm movies, all of which starred one of the most popular entertainers of the era, Dean Martin. The Silencers is the first installment in the series. As the movie begins, Matt Helm is retired. He's living the good life, but he's lured back into action when an evil villain plans to drop an atomic bomb and trigger a nuclear war. Though that sounds like a James Bond movie, one of the first details you'll notice is that Matt Helm bears little resemblance to Bond. He shares far more in common with a character still 30 years away from making his big screen debut, Austin Powers. While the Matt Helm books were deadly serious, the movies are largely light and fun. Right from the start, the producers understood that trying to beat Bond at his own game was a fool's errand. Instead, they conceived the Helm pictures strictly as a Bond parody. In that vein, Rat Packer Dean Martin plays Helm with all the fun-loving, easygoing, wise-cracking charm that Martin was famous for. Movies also included characters modeled after the famous Bond girls, and throughout the series, those roles went to the likes of Anne Margaret and Elkie Summer. Here, in the first film, Dean Martin's leading lady is our star of the day, Stella Stevens. Incidentally, this was three years after Stevens co-starred with Martin's former comedy partner, Jerry Lewis, in The Nutty Professor from 1963. This one is from Columbia in 1966, directed by Phil Carlson, also with Victor Buono, Arthur O'Connell, and Sid Charisse, The Silencers.